NVMe SSDs are becoming more readily available for the Steam Deck, meaning it's gonna be even easier than ever before to get your hands on an SSD for the Steam Deck to upgrade the storage to one terabyte, two terabyte, three terabyte. And we're gonna get into it in this video. We're gonna take a look at some of the SD, SD, SD cards, SSDs you can get. But before we do, just to let you know, I did a video where I actually tore down my Steam Deck, installed a two terabyte NVMe SSD and a one terabyte micro SD, making a total of a three terabyte Steam Deck. And um, go check that video out, it's pretty cool. I actually did the teardown and filmed every bit as I did it. Taking off the back plate, removing the old SSD, installing the new one, putting it back together, turning it on, work to treat. And now I've got a three terabyte Steam Deck, it's pretty cool. But let, let's talk, yeah, Lula, yeah, let's talk about it in this video. I'm Lace 2 k if you love Steam Deck and love Steam Deck content and want more of it on your homepage every day, please click the like, subscribe and the bell icon, and check the link in the video description for all my favorite Steam Deck accessories, including some links to NVMe SSDs you can buy right now on Amazon. Let's go. So it's getting easier to buy bigger SSDs for the Steam Deck and Surface PCs. Special 30 millimeter long SSDs are gradually coming to retail, though big names are missing in action. So this is the SSD that goes inside the Steam Deck. Now you might notice it looks kind of different to other NVMe SSDs because typically an NVMe SSD is typically about year long, right? Whereas the Steam Deck's one is about this size. <laughs> So they're not very common. It's not the same one you'd put in your PS5 or in your gaming PC, although you can. I think most NVMe slots do support all different sizes of NVMe SSDs, but these ones specifically are kind of hard or have been hard to get your hands on because they're typically in Microsoft Surface tablets, right? Um, or tab yeah, tablets and laptops. But they're starting to get a little bit more readily, they're starting to become a little bit more readily available now. We're starting to see Sabrent ones on listed on Amazon and b &H Photo, and you can actually buy, like I did, a two terabyte NVMe SSD, the same one as, well, basically this one, for about 230 bucks for a two terabyte. So like it says, if you want to be like me and buy a two terabyte from AliExpress here, make sure that the ra the rating's good, the seller's rating's good, there's reviews and whatnot, just to make sure you're getting a legit one. Um, I don't think they're selling any fake versions of these anyway, so you should be fine for now at least, so be quick about it. But I actually ordered mine from AliExpress, I got it, I did a video, I filmed the process of me taking off the back plate and installing it, setting the Steam Deck up, and it works amazing. I basically got like, just by over two terabytes worth of content. I've actually dual boot my Steam Deck with the Windows and Steam OS, so I can have the best of both worlds, have access to all my games, and not have to worry about space, right? Running out of space. So yeah, I bought the two terabyte. You know, you're welcome to buy a one terabyte. Sabrent has their own one terabyte now, now that you could buy in the US and not have to wait for AliExpress. But I'll be honest, guys, I ordered mine from AliExpress. It literally took a week to get here, which is insane, right? Um, so I wouldn't worry too much about shipping times, although beware is the Chinese New Year, which ends on February 5th, which is like in a couple of weeks. So you've got time. Take your time. Once New Year's over, over there, you know, get this ordered if you want to. Um, it's just as good, if not better than the the one terabyte Sabrent sound. Anyways, yes. So the NV <laughs> the Steam Deck uses its own kind of uh, SSD, um, and they were very hard to get your hands on, but they're starting to get easier, so that's good. Um, so yeah, Microsoft Surface devices have had a well-deserved reputation for being impossible to repair in their early years, but Microsoft has sought to change that more recently. Newer Surfaces feature detailed repair manuals and at least in theory, easily upgradable SSDs, like this one here that's used in the Steam Deck. Um, so yeah. DIY storage upgrades can save you a ton, a ton. You can technically buy a 64 gigabyte Steam Deck for 399, um, or is it 349? I forgot the price. But basically buy the 64 gigabyte and then take off the back plate and install your own SSD for, and save a good bit of money as well, instead of buying the, the most expensive 650 variant. Um, so obviously, yeah, Sabrent is selling theirs. These are starting to, be released around the US, whereas the two terabytes are still only available in China, really, from these factories that are putting them into putting them into laptops and tablets, right? Um, I'll put a link in the video description to where you can go get them. Um, but yeah, let's just talk about it. Let's get excited. Hopefully, hopefully, we're all rocking two terabyte, three terabyte Steam Decks 
before you know it because as you know storage on something like the steam deck is pretty important you, you'll find yourself filling it up faster than you think even with the 512 gigabyte which i found happened to me i had to split my windows partition and my steam os partition by like 50 percent each and you'll be surprised how fast 256 gigabyte on each gets filled up even if you're just on steam os or just on windows you're going to fill up that 512 pretty damn fast considering some games are like 150 gigabytes almost 200 gigabytes in size you know you're gonna be, you're gonna be finding you're gonna have to download download games and then have to uninstall them again like a couple of weeks later to make space for new games it's insane so maxing your steam deck out for 200 and something bucks with like a two terabyte ssd and then maybe if you're feeling extra generous slapping on a micro sd on top of that taking up to almost like three terabytes like mine it makes your life a hell of a lot easier and saves you from having to delete games, reinstall, delete, reinstall, all that sort of stuff. Um, let me know what, what storage you're rocking on your Steam Deck or are you maybe considering buying the low end 64 gigabyte Steam Deck and then taking the route of upgrading it yourself? Let me know in the comments and obviously go back and watch my old video where I did that to mine. It was super easy, super easy. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. But yeah, I just wanted to put that out there, the PSA that these SSDs are becoming more readily available and you can now buy them from the US from a US retailer with a warranty from companies like Sabrent okay um, but like it says if you're wanting to go that extra bit further and um, buy yourself a two terabyte bad boy then you can also do that and trust me the seller is pretty reputable um, I'll also put a link to this in the video description and I'll put all the links in my Amazon list of favorite Steam Deck accessories too. If you want to go check that out, link in the description also. Anyways, guys, let me know what you're, what you're rocking in your Steam Deck, what storage you're wanting to upgrade to if you haven't upgraded yet. And yeah, let me let me know, okay? Because I read all the comments. I'm looking forward to what you've got to say. And um, is 3 terabyte overkill that I've got on mine? Is that overkill for you? Let me know. Anyways, guys, have a great day. Please like, subscribe, click the bell icon if you want to get more Steam Deck content on your homepage every day, because why not? Even if it's a slow news day, I try and get something out for you guys. But yeah, have a great day. Thank you for watching. Go check out my link in the descriptions. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. It's Blaze2K. Bye.